Welcome Sagittarius, I'm Rosa and this is Purple Luna Rose Tarot. Welcome back Sagittarius and if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you'd like to join our tribe, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, Sagittarius, we're going to jump right in with this week's bonus read. Um, this is going to be a special reading for Sagittarius. We do have the full moon in Gemini coming on December 18th. Um, I will be doing a full moon reading live on Saturday, um, but I wanted to do this special bonus reading just for Sagittarius to see how is this full moon going to affect you. Um, I want to let you guys know how important this full moon it is the last full moon of 2021. We also have the winter solstice on 12 21 21. If you break those numbers down, they do break down to master number 11. Many people will realize that their birth dates um, are master number 11. If you don't know how to break your birthday down, um, let me know and I will shoot you an email, show you how, or send you a link. But Sagittarius, most of you are highly psychic, very spiritual, um, also tarot readers. So I know most of you know um, how to do that. So this particular 12, 21, 21 solstice is very important as it's coming after the full moon in Gemini just a few days later. So let's see, Sagittarius, how is this full moon, how is this solstice going to affect you? Wow, so I just did Scorpios, and the faith card came out first then also. It's number 31. Um, so Spirit definitely telling us to keep the faith. I would recommend watching that Scorpio bonus video um, if you have Scorpio in a major sun, moon, or rising, or if you're a person, especially if you're on a twin journey. This is very much twin flame-based energy. You also have wisdom. I feel like you're learning something, ascending, has something to do with your spiritual awakening, 31 and 22. The wisdom card shows her standing on this stack of books, but it's not just the books that taught her. Um, it's also the experiences. On the bottom, look at this, Queen of the Moon, the sovereignty card. Sovereignty is you're learning how powerful you are. All right, I wanna clarify really quickly. Let's use the Moonology Oracle. What is it that you're learning, Sagittarius? Why are you needing to keep the faith? I definitely feel like it's gonna have something to do, um, it's very possible it's something to do with children. I do see like the pregnant belly. We have a step out of your comfort zone. It's the North Node. Interesting. On the bottom, we have believe in the impossible, the blue moon. Again, interesting. All right, Sagittarius, let's use the energy oracle and see if we can figure out where this is going. What challenge or obstacle are you facing with this full moon? Ooh, we have two came out. Financial constraints and attachment. Um, financial constraints just says that you didn't plan on something. It's very possible it has something to do with money, um, but it just says you took out of this pantry and something happened that surprised you. You went back to get more and you realized that it was running low. Um, so it's like something happened and you didn't plan ahead for it. Attachment in reverse tells me it could have something to do with a breakup. All right, let's see something that you've already learned that can help you with this challenge or obstacle. So we have the thinking woman coming out, but it is coming out in reverse. It's kind of like this wisdom card here. It's not necessarily about learning something in a book. It's about experiences and learning from your experiences. And let's see what the outcome of this full moon energy Again, two cards. There's that Twin Flame Journey confirmation, and the Seat card is coming out right behind it. Um, the Seat says someone is trying to keep something from you. Um, it's like they're being sneaky about something. It's not the Hostilities card where it's in your face. It's something about your journey, most likely Twin Flame Journey, um, is being hidden or kept from you. All right, let's use the Gilded Tarot of Sagittarius and see if we can get a little more information. I think there's something you don't know about your twin journey and spirit's definitely trying to give you a heads up. All right, we're gonna clarify with the Gilded Tarot. Let's see why you have financial constraints and attachment in reverse as a challenge. 
Wow, the High Priestess. The High Priestess, again, Twin Flame Journey confirmation. The High Priestess is secrets, mysteries, things you don't understand. Um, but she's also the bridging energy in a Twin Flame Journey. We have three cards that flipped out. Ace of Wands is new excitement, new passionate inspiration to chase your dreams. Three of Wands is your dreams. Three of Wands says you have a bright future ahead of you. It says your ships are coming in. Let's look at 47 in reverse, the thinking woman. I feel like you're learning something. Knight of Wands, someone could be bringing you a message. I'm seeing a lot of wands, so fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, Ten of Cups, the message is going to have something to do with your happy home, happy family. Let's look at the journey in deceit. What's being kept from you, Sagittarius, about your twin flame journey? Wow, we have the world coming out. Um, the world is about having open new opportunities. Um, Page of Swords, this guy is creepy to me in the Gilded Tarot. He's like this little creepy stalker guy. Um, whoever's keeping something from you could be trying to watch you, spy on you. Um, Six of Pentacles, whoever's watching you, I feel like they want to help. Six of Pentacles is not a bad card, um, but it does kind of give me the... It's very possible this person feels like they've been gypped in some sort of situation with this journey. Um, it's possible that someone feels like opportunities have been closed off to them. Um, Page of Swords could be about learning to communicate. Um, this could be you or your person, Sagittarius. I definitely feel like it's more your person. Um, I feel like they're fearful of communication um, and they need help or they want to ask help. Definitely feel like they, they feel like there's no opportunity here on this journey. But I also get like they're definitely watching you, spying. It could be Sagittarius. You could be doing it also. Um, but I definitely get like this creepy vibe like this person is spying on you. All right, Sagittarius. Let's get some guidance cards and see what spirit thinks you should do about the situation. And this is going to be Magical Times and Angel Answers together. And if anyone's interested in any of the cards that I use in today's reading, I do have my Amazon affiliate link in the description box below. And guys, don't forget to check out those dream journals. The PLR guided dream journals very much help you interpret your dreams. And the links for those are in the description box also. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what Spirit has to say about the situation. Ask for help from others. There's that ask for help, the Six of Pentacles. Trust, again. So keep the faith and trust, kind of the same thing. Like, trust that spirit has your back. Abundance, I feel like something big is coming in for you. Success, definitely something massive. I don't think you see it coming. Um, you feel like you haven't planned for some sort of situation, but I feel like this full moon um, is definitely bringing in something that you're not expecting because you have the believe in the impossible coming out as the clarifying energy. On the bottom, we have improving health and strength card was next. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave it right there. I hope this reading was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if it feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.